Right, well, I'm, my name is Stefan Ostersjö, I'm a Swedish guitarist, and uh, I'm here as part of the Landscape Quartet, which is a European uh, group of four sound artists. So what, what we do is basically sound art um, produced in, um, in dialogue with nature. So what, what we want to achieve is, is uh, sound art that is not representation of nature, but instead uh, produced in, in, in an interaction with nature. So we set up instruments in trees and, and uh, you know, find a performance practice or create a performance practice, how you play along with the wind, for instance, um, which you see in this installation. So there's the, uh, both of the pieces uh, use this method. So in one, of, one of the instruments is played by the wind in the rice field, which in turn plays the Dan Chang. Uh, and the uh, other piece I play, uh, a Vietnamese lute, the Dan Dai, um, up on the mountain with, the, with, with strings, the three strings of the instrument tied to trees. And then the wind plays the strings, but you can also control the way the wind plays them. So. So Homelands, uh, well, the title of the piece is really Que, because it's, uh, it, it's about homelands from a Vietnamese perspective, where it is a kind of core feature of the culture, where it, you always refer back to the place where you come from, which normally, you know, with people living in Hanoi, is not from Hanoi, but people tend to originate from, you know, a, a, a little town or village somewhere outside of the country out in the countryside and um, with uh, Wen Tan Tui with, with whom I've been working since 2006 in, in a group that we have uh, she, uh, her parents comes from a village which is like um, an hour outside of Hanoi in the Bac Ninh province uh, so the piece is about her homeland and so we went there several times to 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 kind of get to grips with the nature and what it affords, but also the culture in this village and, and so on. So we you know, spend time with, with people uh, in her family. Some of them are some of the main carriers of Quang Ho, which is a, is, is a famous kind of folk music that you find in, in this area. Uh, so we spend some evenings in people's kitchen just listening to these folk songs and things like that. Um, that kind of informs the project, even though you, you cannot, you, you won't hear any of that in, in the pieces. But but the but the project is very much about, you know, kind of getting to grips with the culture, but also the different cultural ways of seeing nature. So we spend quite a lot of times talking to people about how they experience spirits in in certain places and so on, which for a Westerner is kind of odd. Well. I've, I've been doing this kind of work since the mid-2000, so, so I guess, you know, it's been essential for everything I've been doing in collaboration with musicians and artists from other cultures, not to um, accept any of the old hierarchies, but rather to work from a very flat kind of point of departure where mutual learning is the, is, is the beginning of any, any project. Um, so, to take the, the landscape quartet methodology and, and, and bring it to this kind of multicultural situation is kind of, well, it's, it's a natural, um, natural way of expanding the work that we've done, which otherwise has happened in, in Northumbria and in, in Scandinavia and, and, you know, more well-known sites for at least some of us in the, in the group. Um, but it's always a matter of, of you know, working with the affordances of a space and, you know, what people bring into also uh, a project. So, of course, the music we made in Vietnam was quite different to what we've done in, in Europe, in a good way, I think. We're definitely thinking of taking it further. We've, we've been talking about working more with documentary film and digging more into the different cultural understandings of, of nature in different parts of the world. So we've been discussing ways of setting up a collaboration with a documentary filmmaker to, to, uh, to work more in Vietnam from, from this perspective. 
where also, and this, this is kind of something that, you know, it, it comes with the globalization through, through internet-based sources. So it's, it's also that you nowadays can, you know, set up dialogues between spaces in very apart places in the world and, and play in real time over internet and so on with musicians that are, you know, someone in the rainforest if there's, if there's 3G signal. Uh, and someone you know in Newcastle, so that that's also part of how we're thinking of it, you know. To so it's not it's not just ethnology or anything, but it's it's more of a, well, a way of thinking, you know, globally in in, in different uh, layers. So. Mm -hmm.